In previous versions of Origin, multiple data files could only be imported into multiple sheets or workbooks. Origin 2025 allows users to import multiple files into the same sheet by appending each file row-wise or column-wise. Information from the file name can be extracted into the worksheet to help distinguish which data file they are from. Let's start by launching the Connect Multiple Files option in the Data menu. Then, select your files and hit OK. When Same Book is checked, a new Append to Same Sheet drop-down list is added in Origin 2025, so we can choose to append files as new columns. In this example, we will extract a date from the end of our file names. Let's check Partial File Name as the File Name option. The date information is contained in the last 10 characters of our file names. Below Extract Part of File Name, there is a hint in blue that describes the format for this field. For this scenario, we will enter minus 10 colon 0, which will extract a portion of the file name that begins 10 characters from the end and ends at the last character. The extracted characters will be placed in a column label row, which we can name in the partial file name label field. Finally, we set the column designations. Since each file contains four columns of data, enter x, y, y, y. This pattern of column designations will be applied to each file. Click OK, then click OK on the dialog that pops up for the first file. All of the files have been imported to a single sheet and labeled with a unique date that was extracted from the end of the file name. In the next example, we will do a row-wise import and extract information from the middle of our file names. This time, we will extract the weight of each sample. This region begins 10 characters from the left and ends 3 characters from the right of each file name. Check Same Book and set the files to import as new rows. Then select Partial File Name in the drop-down menu. To extract the region mentioned earlier, simply enter 10 colon minus 3 to extract from the 10th character in the file name to the third character from the end of the file name. These files contain only two rows, so column designations should be x, y. Click OK. Now all of our data from multiple files has been imported to the same sheet, row after row. The data within each file is put into column B and C while column A contains the file name extraction so we know the source of each row of data. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy graphing!